Hello. We have a a 10 for you. But I already rolled for them to save us all the time. Where the heck's the 10 on here? Right there. 10, top 10. I rolled with this one. I actually found this die cleaning. So I'm happy about that. So for those of you that know me personally, uh, it is New Year's Eve for me because the 5th of November is my new year. That is when I celebrate my New Year's resolutions. I set my goals and try to be a better person and fail miserably flat on my, flat on my face. So here we go. Um, and these, these are going to typically be the same ones that you've probably heard from everyone else, but that doesn't make them less important. That makes them as important or more important because it's something that we should all be following. So from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, you guys can say which is which. Eat healthier, right? The number one resolution from 2019, I think it seems to was to eat healthier. I don't know if I ate healthier. Um, I think I was forced to eat at restaurants a lot less. So in that aspect, I felt like I ate healthier. I was a little bit more pissed off <laughs> because I didn't get enough sushi. But hey, you know, you live and you learn and, you know, I think it's one of the things that we take for granted here in America is our diets. And it's one of the things that we don't look at. And it's one of the things that everyone else around the world looks at when thinking about us. So I think we should look at that. Uh, beneath that, we have exercise more. Um, exercising. Um, actually, let's go back to eat healthier. That's actually what you take in your head and your what, what you look at, what you listen to. Uh, what you eat is not necessarily just your diet that you just like goes in your mouth. It actually pertains to a lot of other things. And that also goes by who you give your body to. So to exercise more. Under the same umbrella as eating healthier, working out more is second most in common New Year's resolution. I would say everyone wants to be healthier uh, everyone wants to feel healthy like eat healthy feel great but nobody wants to do it they just want to like f be comfortable eat the same things go to the same places and me and my wife we do the same thing we go to we go to a lot of the same places we won't always eat the same thing and i'm not one to speak the only one that can really be as fussy uh when it comes to my diet would be my niece madison so like I have I have a ridiculously weird diet. I can go to a restaurant and then be hungry for food and then instantly not be hungry for food when I get there or want something else and crave something else and then feel awkward that I want to eat something else. So then I just like take something to go or something. It's me, believe it or not. Three, save money or spend less. Uh, having money is not about spending the things that you want. It's about having the things that you need. So if you can put away a little or have your money work for you, I personally, I'm not an investor. Uh, I'm not, I am an investor, but I'm not a, um, I am not authorized to like give investing advice, but I can tell you where I spend my money or I can tell you what, what I use my money on. Right. So I would never say save your money. I would say invest it put it in something that like something you know like com look at investing it's very simple like the companies that you use actually you know what look at this entire year this has been an off year for everything so not only has it been an election year it's also been we've had a pandemic year so if you think about that like what are the companies that you've still been going to despite you know the the pandemic and all this weird stuff and we don't have the regular schedules that we've had so like Everything has been thrown off, right? If you can think about the companies that you've been spending your money on, maybe those are the ones that you may want to be investing in. Not saying that that's what you should be doing because, you know, full disclosure, I am not a financial advisor or anything like that. I'm just a friend that would tell you, say, hey, go in this direction. If you ask a couple of my subscribers, uh, actually three of them, no, four of them now, if I, I wouldn't say I have made them money, I would say the things that I've told them to put their money in has made them money. That's not the same as me giving them money. 
it's the same as something that I'm saying, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm showing you what I'm doing. Look into it. Do your own due diligence. So yeah, don't save money, invest it. Have your money make money for you. That's how you make money. And you have to have multiple lines of money coming to you if you really want to be successful. You can't just be like, how come I'm not going anywhere? I've only got one job. And you know your exact budget. You know how much money you're going to make at the end of the year. It's like, why aren't we all running around like we're on fire? And that we have a lot more to do with our lives. Why do you, Why do we just put it? To, be like, well, do it tomorrow. Take care today. Like, why do you go out and learn these things? Like, Let's research these things like get off my fucking channel and go and go and research it yourself you know four learn something new sometimes new year's resolutions are about losing things extra weight debt or emotional baggage sometimes on the other hand they're about gaining something new like a skill or hobby sometimes i am a big fan of disengaging and disattaching with as much as I am attached to electrical devices and social medias and stuff, you as my wife, I'm probably the most distant person that you've ever met. I spend a lot of my time in La La Land and it's really sad because my she'll get mad at me for not remembering like the password. She's like, you gotta start remembering stuff like this. It's not that I don't remember, I don't care. And I told her I'll start promising like that I'll work harder at writing stuff down. And, you know, having my passwords all set in stone or being like, like, that's something I can personally work on myself. Like, just be, it's, it's not that I don't care. I do care. It's just because every single time I go into something, I have to, like, reset my password. And just, it's just a pain in the butt. It's just something that I have to do because it's, I don't set them all the same thing. I should probably, but that, isn't that something stupid to do, right? Five, quit smoking. So many resolutions concentrated on letting go of nasty habits like eating junk food and smoking. If I say let go of anything, I'd say let go of sugar. But, you know, I'm a big advocate of just, you know, we are made of water. So you should drink as much water as you can. Not like to like an unhealthy level. But when people substitute water for sugar or pop, I drink energy drinks at work. But they're like generally sugar free or... You know, like I'll drink like two or three sips of it and I'll put it away. Or, you know, it's portion control too. You know, like, you know, like I'm only going to have like half of, half a can of Red Bull, sugar-free Red Bull, and then I'm going to like throw it away and I'm not going to drink anymore throughout the day. You know, like you don't have to slam it or drink it all or, you know, finish it all in one sitting. You know, like it's one of those things that like you don't have to be the person that like gives up everything in the world. You know, you just have to like know how to like you know, moderate it, you know, and that goes for everything. Too too much of anything is pretty much for me is a waste of time. Like too much of anything is just a waste of time. If you spend your too much time doing anything that you think you love, it's a waste of time. Believe it or not, unless you're doing number six, read more. You can never, <laughs> you can never spend too much time reading. If you're a reader, then, um, yeah, I would say, uh, I, <laughs> number five is not true and six is more true. So definitely read more or read as much as you can. And it doesn't necessarily mean, um, uh, fantasy all the time or me, I like to read textbooks and I like to read a lot of stuff that people don't like to read. So I don't even want to get into the crap that I read, but, uh, if you read, uh, it, it, it helps exercise your mind in ways that watching a video doesn't. Another thing goes with um, uh, people that binge binge watch shows. So, like, for instance, uh, Mandalorian is a new show, you know, or whatever. And it comes out week to week and somebody can't watch it um, week to week. They have to sit there and binge watch it all in one night. It has to do with, like, your entertaining... A certain part of your mind but like if you watch it week to week you have to you get to think about it you get to say hey you know that that was an inter interesting perspective and or you know you it gives you anticip anticipation or being excited about like you know like the week coming up like of, of how it's going to be but if you just slaughter it all in like you know like one sitting you're like it's like oh it was good it wasn't good you actually have a probably not a really good opinion on 
uh, character development or s the written story. Like, I don't know why you would need to watch it all in one night because it's like one of those things that <laughs> it's made like a show. So you have to like watch it like from week to week. You're supposed to balance it in your mind. You're supposed to think about it and process it. That's how shows like, I mean, John Fart. I can never say his name. <laughs> John Favreau. Favreau. Well, I would probably would agree with me. Like you, you need time to digest really good. Uh, character development or a storyline like and that's that's what comes with these like these like well-written stories like I mean like you can't just be like overstimulated with the CGI and the stuff that's going on and be like I didn't like that and it's like somebody that <laughs> I have a, a, a probably a more articulate opinion when it comes to Star Wars so I'm a little bit like more defensive when it comes to it but like I would say that he would re resurrect, you know, Star Wars the way it was written, the way it was written the way it was should have been written. You know, that's why George Lucas did it the way he did. He did the end of the... I'm moving. I'm getting sidetracked on Star Wars. So, drink less. Uh, yes, drink less. Many want to quit drinking the new year, but quitting anything cold turkey, alcohol specifically, could, if you're an addict, is no easy feat. So, uh, again, I would say this would also... Be on the same line of you know bad habits anything that you do too much of you should do a little bit less of or i don't know i guess uh, the same thing portion you know like if you if you drink 10 cases of beer in a week i don't know maybe drink five i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know what somebody is uh too much of anything you know like i feel like if you drink you know when i got my d-dub in like it was like what 2002 like my counselor told me that if i drink uh, she, she told me that if it's mandatory, if I drink, that that's considered an alcoholic. And it was very curious to me. And I answered her and I was just like, so my grandmother who doesn't drink, let's say she has, you know, a glass of wine every Christmas with the family when we're all together. She's like, that's an alcoholic. I was like, you're telling me one glass of wine. She's like, does she have to do it every single, every single, <laughs> every single year? I'm like, well, in this hypothetical situation yeah she does have to have a drink every single christmas once a year one glass of wine she's like then she's an alcoholic and i said <laughs> I was like, don't you talk about my grandmother i love my grandmother so like that's not true she doesn't drink so like that was just a hypothetical situation but like drinking less i'm like how could you drink less than one <laughs> one drink every single year so like that's what i'm saying like you really have to identify uh, and what what you are doing to other people in your life and what you're doing to your friends and family or what you're doing at your job or maybe then you have to ask them if you identify as that or not but like one drink a year you're not an alcoholic I don't care what my counselor or my uh, what, what the therapist or whatever they the person that they send to you say like hey you have problems I'm like no I don't have problems I'm like the state has problems you had a bad I was probably not a good person to counsel in 2002 because, I mean, it's 2002. Number nine, uh, spend time more with friends and family. I can't stress stress this enough. Um, that is that is what should matter to you. And that is what matters. We are all circuits and nodes. I've said it before. We are all uh, community and who you hold hands with and who who directly impacts you or who you let directly impact you, you also directly impact. So it's very important to um, basically uh, get your community together and spend as much time with them. It's, I know everyone's busy, but we all make excuses why we're busy. So maybe we should make excuses why we are not together and then identify like that and then make excuses why we don't get together on a specific day like every single once a month everyone can put it away you know like twice a month you know if you can afford it but a lot of people are like nope they just don't even care like i don't getting together with my family once a year is like a headache you know it's just the way it is number 10 get organized whatever it may be get organized in your life uh i did a lot of cleaning today and I feel like my house is, or more, my apartment is more unorganized. But, like, we got a bunch of stuff out of here that we did not need, did not want. So, like, it does feel cleaner in here, and it smells cleaner, too. So, 
Um, yeah, so Happy New Year. Maybe I'll do something for V for, for, v for Vendetta tomorrow because it is the 5th of November and that is a very important day for the new year. Uh, you guys enjoy your evening and I think I'm going to watch something with Coral. Okay, unless actually I'm going to see who's online and then I'm going to see if she wants to watch something because sometimes she's just watching a show anyway. So I've been doing a video for 15 minutes so who knows maybe she went somewhere. Adios, guys.